percent of our seniors. The Honourable Member for Megantic Lérable. A great revelation today, Mr. Speaker. The Minister of Finance is now taking her inspiration from the speeches of the Leader of the Official Opposition. They finally realize that budgets don't balance themselves, and they're asking ministers to find savings before proposing new programs. Hallelujah, Mr. Speaker. The problem is that they should have done this a lot. They should have been listening to the member for Carleton a lot earlier. They added $100 million to the national debt before COVID. They added $500 billion before the war in Ukraine uh, uh, Mr. Speaker, $200 billion that had nothing to do with COVID. How can we trust this government to manage inflation, inflation that they created? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Mr. Speaker, I'm very happy that the Conservative member is uh, so interested in uh, correspondence between the Minister of Finance and her colleagues. It's clear that we have a plan that is based on fiscal responsibility, Mr. Speaker. And indeed, we presented a budget that was recognized by uh, all of the experts as being fiscally responsible, and we're seeing the results of that. Our l rate of inflation is uh, uh, much lower than that of our uh, colleagues and partners around the world. And we are going to continue to make sure that we are spending in a responsible way. The Honourable Member for Megantic Lérable. Well, let's talk about fiscal responsibility, Mr. Speaker. This Prime Minister said in his first ever speech that interest rates would stay at low levels for decades to come. I remember that uh, promise, Mr. Speaker. He said there's going to be some tiny deficits because we have the means, because interest rates are going to stay low, and it's uh, not a big deal. But they've added $100 billion to the debt before COVID, Mr. Speaker. That's the reality. And now today, they're saying to Canadians, hey, trust us. We're going to manage this crisis. Well, no. Canadians don't trust you anymore. Mr. Speaker, they are no longer capable. I'm sorry. They are no longer capable of managing this crisis. Mr. Speaker, when are you going to get rid of your plan that's hurting Canadians? When will you stop increasing taxes? Once again, I'd like to remind the Honourable Member that uh, questions must go through the Speaker and not to the Speaker. The Honourable uh, Parliamentary Secretary. Yes, thank you, Mr. Speaker. And... I do think uh, that my Conservative colleague is a bit uh, overexcited. Uh, he's attacking uh, the Bank, uh, Bank of Canada and the independence of our financial institutions. Well, Mr. Speaker, on this side of the House, we believe in the independence of our institutions, and it was a Conservative government under Brian Mulroney that put in place the uh, Bank of Canada's uh, targets, and we think that that was a good idea. Thank you. The Honourable